What's up guys, David here from Dignited. Whether you're streaming your favorite shows or movies or playing games, buffering and slow internet can be a real pain. So today I want to show you how to test and fix some network connection issues that you may experience on your Amazon Fire Stick. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, fixing buffering on your Fire Stick starts with a simple network test. You can do that by going to settings on your fast stick. Okay, and then come to network here. And then you'll be presented with a number of Wi-Fi networks that you are connected to and those that are available. So select the Wi-Fi network that you wish to test. You can press the play pause button on your fast stick remote to check the network status. So for my case, I'm going to select the Xiaomi 5G here. And right here, we have the status of my Wi-Fi network. As you can see, it's connected to the internet here and it shows the network download speeds here. So it shows 19.85 Mbps, which is not bad. But what you want to do is to come to advanced here and here you'll be able to see more details. Now here you'll be able to see the Wi-Fi frequency band, which you're connected to. Wi-Fi has two Wi-Fi bands, that is the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. And as you can see for my case here, I'm connected to the 5G band. You also get to see the wireless channel that you're connected to. And in this case, I'm connected to the 40 wireless channel. Now, all these details will make sense. In just a minute, I'll be able to explain why those details are really important. The other metric that you see here is the signal strength of your Wi-Fi network. And as you can see here, it's showing my signal strength is high, which is great. And then the other details, you have the IP address of your Fire Stick, as well as the gateway address or the address of the Wi-Fi router that it's connected to. So this gives you a good overview of your Wi-Fi network, and that is going to help you troubleshoot slow internet or buffering on your fire stick. All right, now let me walk you through about six things that you should check if you experience buffering on your Wi-Fi stick. Know your internet speeds. Diagnosing buffering on your fire stick starts with knowing your internet speeds. Now, the recommended internet speeds for streaming high definition or SD content at 720p is about 3 Mbps. And if you're looking at streaming full HD or full high definition at 1080p, you need about 5 Mbps. Now, if you want to stream 4K Ultra HD content, that is content, for example, on Netflix or Disney+, Plus, then you need at least 15 Mbps. So getting a fast internet plan from your ISP or internet service provider is a good start. You have to make sure that you're getting the promised internet speeds from your ISP. You can use speed testing sites such as fast.com or speedtest.net to check if you're getting what you paid for. Now you can use your laptop or your smartphone to perform an internet speed test. I usually go with fast.com. Also, make sure that your ISP isn't throttling certain streaming services. This is rare, but some ISPs sometimes limit internet speeds for certain internet services such as torrents, gaming, and streaming. If the internet speeds check out, then you want to examine internal factors relating to your own home network. That includes factors relating to your Wi-Fi router and the Fire Stick itself. So let's dive into this check your Wi-Fi strength. The next step to fixing buffering is to improve your Wi-Fi signal strength. If you're not getting a strong signal, your fast stick may struggle to keep up with streaming content leading to buffering. To have a good signal strength score, make sure your fast stick is as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible. All right, if you can get your Fire TV device and Wi-Fi router on the same room, the better. A distance of about 10 meters or 30 feet without obstacles is ideal. The less the distance between your Fire Stick and the router, the better. Personally, I try to place my Wi-Fi router in the center of the living room. 
This allows for an equal distribution of wireless signals across the room. If your router is in the corner of your room, then half the Wi-Fi signal may be lost outside your house. So the location of your Wi-Fi router determines the quality of the wireless signal strength that your Fire Stick gets. Also, try to keep your Wi-Fi router away from household devices such as cordless phones, microwaves, Bluetooth speakers, or Wi-Fi cameras. These devices share the same frequency band with your router and therefore emit interference, which reduces all the wireless signal. All right, another tip to fix buffering is to switch to the five gigahertz band. This band offers clearer and more reliable connections compared to the 2.4 gigahertz band which is often used by Bluetooth devices, microwaves, baby monitors, and Wi-Fi routers. All right, to access the 5 GHz band, you will need a dual band Wi-Fi router. This router supports both the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz frequency bands. For optimal performance, it is best to assign separate SSIDs or Wi-Fi names for the two bands. This will make it easier for you to connect to the right frequency band. Additionally, I did a video on how to force your smartphone on the 5 GHz band, but the same process should apply to your Fire Stick as well. So give it a try and see if this improves on your internet speeds. Change to a less congested wireless channel. Another way to fix buffering is to change to a less congested wireless channel. Whether you use the 2.4 or 5 GHz frequency bands, select non-overlapping wireless Wi-Fi channels. You can think of the 2.4 or 5 GHz wireless bands as two highways. The Wi-Fi channels are like lanes on these highways. If you wanted to pick the fastest lane on either highway, you naturally would want to choose the ones that are less crowded. On the 5 GHz band, there are 24 overlapping channels, while on the 2.4 GHz band, channels 1, 6, and 11 are the best choices because they don't overlap each other. You can set your Wi-Fi router to use any of these channels in the settings. Now, you can use the Wi-Fi Analyzer app on your smartphone to check the wireless channels in your area. This should guide you on choosing the ones that are less congested. Use Ethernet connection. If you're still experiencing buffering, consider connecting your Fire Stick to an Ethernet network instead. Wired Ethernet isn't prone to interference or obstacles such as walls or floors. However, Fire Sticks don't have an Ethernet port. Only the FireCube 3rd generation supports 100 Mbps Ethernet. So, to connect your Fire Stick to an Ethernet network, you will need an Ethernet adapter. I already did a video on how to connect your Fire Stick to a wired Ethernet connection and recommend you watch it. Connect to a VPN. Another tip to fix buffering on your Fire Stick is to connect to a VPN or virtual private network. A VPN can either enhance or hinder your streaming experience, so it's important to use it with caution. If you believe your internet provider is limiting access to certain streaming services, using a VPN can actually improve your streaming experience by hiding your browsing activity from your internet provider. However, it's important to note that using any VPN service, even a paid one, will reduce your internet connection. The extent of the slowdown will depend on the quality of the VPN provider. The best VPN providers will only reduce your connection speeds by about 10 to 20 percent, while poor quality VPNs, usually the free ones, can result in a reduction of more than 50 percent. In my experience, I use ExpressVPN and Surfshark, and I have noticed a 15 percent reduction in my internet speed from my ISP. 
This is still a reasonable decrease for the added privacy and security benefits you get from a VPN. All right, if your Fastic still can't connect to the internet at all, try any of these options. Start by verifying your internet is working. Just because your Fastic is connected to the Wi-Fi does not mean there is an internet connection. So check if any other devices are connected to the internet. If not, it's possible your internet provider is having an outage, so you may want to contact them for support. You can also try to restart your Wi-Fi router. Even if other devices are able to connect, sometimes a simple restart of your router can solve the problem. Also, try to restart your Fire Stick. Doing so will clear the device's memory and this could resolve the issue. To restart your Fire Stick, go to Settings and then My Fire TV and then Restart to restart your Fire Stick. Finally, you can try to factory reset your Fire Stick if all fails. Resetting your device to its factory defaults may resolve the problem. To do so, go to Settings and then My Fire TV and then Reset to Factory Defaults. You can then set up your Fire Stick as though it was new and I did a setup video which you can watch. All right guys, that's how you can test and fix network connection issues on your Fire Stick. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.